Yesterday I made a video talking all about the great deal that I got on this Lego Avatar set. And while this isn't necessarily a Disney set, I did buy it while I was at Disney World, fresh off of the Avatar Flight of Passage ride at Animal Kingdom. And I was feeling inspired, so I made the purchase. And then when I got home and did the video on it, I was also feeling inspired to not only build this set, but also build all of the other Disney sets from my backlog. So I went in there this morning, I pulled all the sets out, and this is what I found. I don't know about you, but I think my plans of having a Lego Disney month have officially been dashed. There were literally three sets in there. We have the Mickey and Minnie buildable figures, which is a gorgeous set. Got the Chippendale brickheads, and we've got a Donald Duck brickhead. I guess I thought my backlog was much bigger than that, so it's kind of a good thing, and I guess it's also a good thing that we're already part of the way into this month, so at the very least, maybe we can have a Lego Disney week. I do have two other things on the way, which would take us up to five, but today I thought, why don't we at least get started? I've got a fairly sizable set to build here, and I would start cranking out the Mickey and Minnie, and then we'll save these ones for Clark Man. Maybe we can tag team these and just have a whole kind of Disney kind of experience. On that note, I'm looking at these brickheads here and I'm thinking, how cool would it be if we got the entire collection of Disney character brickheads? What an amazing display piece that would be. And that would definitely be enough to fill a whole month, but we'll hold off on that, get done with what we've got here first and get started on our Lego Disney week slash month. We'll see. Wherever the winds take us, I really like the idea of getting started on a big set like this and then maybe we can work on the small stuff while this is in progress and get a whole bunch of things done. So that's what I envision. We'll see how this all turns out and we'll see just how many pieces are in this set. Holy smokes, there it is. Emptied out, got the official Brickitect unboxing here. And oh wow, look at these printed pieces right here. This is, this is awesome. That'd be a crazy sticker. So thank you, Lego, and thank you for the folded manual. Just like the old days, we do have a couple stickers in here. That's not too bad, considering this is... How many pieces is this, anyway? It's 1739. Yikes. That's a big set. And, man, it's going to look amazing on display. If you haven't seen this, obviously, the seeing the bag sitting here probably isn't helping very much, but it's basically Mickey... And there's, oh, is there a manual for Minnie, too? Ooh, we extend this into the weekend. I might be able to get Mrs. Brickitech to join in on this because this is the perfect couple build where you each have a manual and you can each build something. Unless Clark Man takes that one over, too. you got to watch that guy. Let's play the old move everything around game that every Lego person is probably well-versed in. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. No other stickers in here, but here's the manuals. Minnie. Mickey, she comes with the camera and all that stuff too. I love that camera as well. I do have the Disney 100 Years camera, which I think is great, but the fact that they include these extras in this is really cool. I'm gonna assume that Mickey is the lower number bags, but there's a little bit of the information on the inside, and I always like to read that. Maybe I'm a nerd. Maybe you do too. Hopefully you do, because they put that in there and it's something you could take advantage of. There's the designer playing with the Mickey, or partially building it, and there's Pluto! He's not a Lego Pluto, but Lego, if you want another Disney idea, there you go. Actually, make the whole squad. Make Goofy, make Pluto, make Donald Duck, maybe. That'd be cool. Us Lego people are so demanding, aren't we? So, <laughs> there we go. Bag one, that's the base. That's not going to be a very interesting build. Bag two gets a little more spicy. We got his legs. We got a bit of his torso. Bag three, the rest of his torso. Bag four, it looks like that's where it finishes. And I like how there's... A signature there too. It kind of reminds me of Hollywood Studio where Mickey Mouse actually has his own little sidewalk there that he signed. I got it in my vlog that I made. But yeah, I'm gonna build this up. Let's let's see what the bags look like. I'll get one through four together here and make, Minnie's gonna be all the rest of those. So she's gonna take up the majority of the bags here because of the extra accessories and such. But yeah, Mickey Mouse. Haunting nightmares since 19... 24? Is that when he came out? I know it's been a hundred years and he's in the public domain. Maybe it has to be it. Probably the Steamboat Willie version. Ask and you shall receive. Mickey Mouse made his public debut in Walt Disney's 1928 animated short Steamboat Willie, 1928. Playing the role of a jolly riverboat pilot whistling at the helm. Two and a half minutes later, the same film Minnie Mouse made her own debut as a passenger rushing to board the boat. With a little help from a cargo plane, both mo I'm not going to spoil it for you. 1928. 1928 would only put us at 96 years. How is he in the public domain now? This is going to send me down a whole YouTube rabbit hole that my algorithm is going to feed me Mickey Mouse videos for the next month. I think I'm okay with that. So let's 
<laughs> Let's get these bags. This is off the rails. Welcome to Brickatech. Here's everything laid out, and as you can probably tell, this is going to keep me busy for a while. Here's bags one through four for Mickey, and then Minnie's over here with bags five through nine. Ooh, you guys almost died there. As I mentioned a little earlier in the video, I think what I'm gonna do is work on this bit by bit and share my progress with you as I work on other sets throughout the week. I also think I'm gonna live stream some of this too, because I enjoy doing that. Maybe somebody would like to come along with me on the process of building up Mickey and or Minnie. So we'll have a whole bunch of fun with this throughout the Disney time, we'll say. And then I'll share some other stuff with you that's on its way, and then also build the other sets that have now found their way to Floritech over here. So a whole bunch of Disney stuff happening, and I just think it's gonna be fun. So thank you for joining me on this video in, uh, I guess, unboxings and also planning. And we'll see you in the live streams or in the updates or the builds with Clark Man. You got lots of opportunities to find us. So on that, I'll see you wherever we see you.